Welcome friends, today we have a new horror story for you. This story is about the haunting and deadly experience of a couple in city of Mumbai in India. So let's start. In the heart of the dense forests near Mumbai, where the trees formed a canopy over winding paths, there lay an ominous well, hidden from the casual observer. It was said among the locals that this well harbored a dark secret, that it was haunted by an evil spirit seeking souls to claim as its own. One evening, Rajesh and Pooja, two young lovers filled with the zeal of adventure, embarked on a long drive to explore the wilderness surrounding their city. Their journey led them deeper into the forest until they found themselves engulfed by the eerie tranquility of nature. Lost in the maze of foliage, they continued riding, hoping to chance upon an exit. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting elongated shadows across the forest floor, Rajesh decided to halt their journey, sensing the encroaching darkness. With trepidation in their hearts, they dismounted the bike and surveyed their surroundings. It was then that Rajesh, driven by curiosity, ventured off to scout the area leaving Pooja alone with her thoughts. Alone in the dimming light, Pooja's apprehension grew, the rustle of leaves and the distant hoot of an owl adding to her unease. Her eyes fell upon the well nearby, its mouth gaping like a silent abyss. Suddenly, she saw Rajesh dive into the well, his figure disappearing into the depths. Shock and fear gripped her as she watched him vanish beneath the surface. Summoning her courage, Pooja approached the well, her heart pounding in her chest. She could see Rajesh swimming in the murky waters below, his laughter echoing eerily in the stillness of the forest. He beckoned her to join him, his voice filled with an unnatural allure. But before she could respond, a chilling touch on her shoulder made her whirl around in terror. Standing before her was Rajesh, or so she thought. He said her to come with her, he has found the way back. But Pooja was scared to even take a step further because she saw Rajesh swimming in the well just a couple of minutes ago. So, she asked person in front of who is he? And said I will not go with you. Rajesh kept insisting her to come with her then realizing that he is definitely not Rajesh. Pooja said, you are not Rajesh? Who are you? His smile twisted into a sinister grin as he revealed his true nature, a malevolent spirit masquerading as her beloved. In a panic, Pooja fled towards the well, driven by the desperate hope of reaching the real Rajesh. But as she reached the edge, her hopes were shattered. The well lay dry, its depths revealing a gruesome sight, Rajesh's lifeless body, broken and bloodied, lying amidst the jagged rocks. The horror of the scene overwhelmed Pooja, causing her to lose consciousness. She awoke the next day in a hospital bed, her mind reeling from the traumatic events of the previous night. As she asked what happened the nurse told her that forest guard constable found her unconscious in the deep forest and brought her to hospital. Then hospital informed police about Pooja have woken up so they came to take her statement. She told police everything that happened and asked them about Rajesh but police told her that they only found her in a bag and a bike and nobody else. She started crying and told them she was with Rajesh and he is dead. So, police looked at the bag and found one ID which had photo and name of Rajesh. So, they said her they will look again. After two days, police again called her and told her that they did not find anybody in the well. But amidst the confusion and disbelief, Pooja's gaze fell upon Rajesh's bag, recovered by the police. With trembling hands, she opened it to find a ring nestled inside, a symbol of Rajesh's love and his intention to propose to her. In the aftermath of the harrowing experience, the truth of the forest's haunted reputation became clear to Pooja. There was an old man who was cleaning her room. 
he hears her crying asked her what was the matter. After listening to her he told her that she is very lucky to be alive, because there is a dangerous evil spirit who haunts the area near the well. Whoever goes nearby that well always end up dead. He told her to forget about Rajesh he is dead and she has full life ahead of her. Also told her to never go back to the well to search for her friend. Haunted by the memory of that fateful night, Pooja emerged from the ordeal with a newfound appreciation for life's fragility and the enduring power of love in the face of darkness. And as she moved forward, she carried with her the memory of Rajesh, her beloved, whose spirit would forever remain intertwined with the mysteries of the haunted forest near Mumbai. That's it folks, hope you like the story, and please don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more stories.